Let's break down the top five plays of the night. Play number five. We're Hannah going to Pamplico. Hemingway. Hemingway. Yeah, we're going to Hemingway, Hannah Pamplico. And check out the block here. Philip Williams, the big fella, coming up with the block and taking it down into the two-yard line. And guess what? Yeah, Hemingway getting it done. I believe they're perfect on the season. Three and zero. They are. Fifty to six winners over HP. Demontre Platt fields that ball. It looked like a. I mean, look at. I mean, that ball went up high in the air. Set up a score and Hemingway Williams big win with tonight. The, Williams with the with the block and of course uh, Platt with the coming down on it. All right, now we go to the uh, Academy Sports and Outdoors game of the week for play number five. Mullins and Marion. Ryan Gore. Yeah, he's pretty good. And he's got a nice little connection. Who's his connection? That would be Javaris Smith, six foot four. Hard to miss him. Dives into the end zone. Great yards after the catch there. Mullins came up short tonight against Marion, but Ryan Gore, I mean, that, that kid's a stud. He can play, and, and so can that, uh, that guy right there, Mr. Smith. He can play <laughs> as well. Let's head over now. So actually, I, I want to watch you. Can you slow it down for me? Yeah. Okay, good. See, I like how you... How many touchdowns did he have last week? Didn't he have uh, one or two? He had that one where he tight roped up. I think this is the second straight week he's been on the top five place. That's, that is correct. And um, uh, yeah. the, the thing with uh, with Mullins, though, four interceptions, and that doomed them tonight at Marion. All right, Saucesty and Myrtle Beach. Jordan Hodge back to pass, but Kelton Green. Are you kidding me? I saw it in real life. I was there. I you, mean. You shot this. I did. One-handed, and then takes it to the house. So a pick six for Kelton Green. Myrtle Beach, a 23-22 winner against the Sockesty Braves. Wow. Kelton, something. I want you to slow it down. All right. See, I'm going to make TV magic. That's what I'm talking about. That's concentration. Because you could have batted it down, but no, he just kind of a little tipped it right that, to the you know, grill. You say, oh, well, boom. hey, if it hadn't been for that, they do that every week. Yeah. This, uh, this defense is opportunistic. Coach Owens does a great job with it. Number two. Number two, Georgetown, walk them all. This is Gerald German marching to the end zone. Boy, that burst of speed. He's pretty good. Yeah, he is, he's, he's and uh, Georgetown gets another win. I'm telling you, they just keep rolling them up. Bradley Adams does a nice job with them. Walkamaw was starting to feel their oats last week after upsetting Carver's Bay, but Georgetown would have none of it tonight. Talk about the one-two punch of Billings and German. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's a pretty formidable foe if you're, uh, if you're an opposing defense having to stop those two guys. And the number one play of the night shot by our general manager, Billy Huggins. 007 showing up tonight. Check out this hit. Marlboro County and Chirag. London Johnson across the middle, but actually tattooed. Demarcus McManus just obliterates the receiver on that one. But Marlboro won the game 17 to nothing. But big hit by Shiraz, Demarcus McManus. Mm. That's how they do it at Raw Town. That is. That's... That's a hit. That's how you play secondary. If you're a safety, take notes. That's how you do it. You That's bring tackle, it. Tackle football. You bring it.